Happy Friday. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. Local rescuers helped evacuate an injured rock climber yesterday afternoon in Officer's Gulch, backing up traffic on westbound I-70 around 3.30 p.m. It's been a busy week for Summit Rescue Group. On Monday, rescuers responded to an injured paraglider on Peak 6. Last weekend, they spent hours in the Gore Range assisting a pair of lost summer skiers. Summit locals on Bright Health Plans could pay 49% more next year. A local paying $280 per month today might be paying $417 by January. The Summit Daily reports this is the provider's steepest rate hike since it started working with Summit's Peak Health Alliance. The increase is preliminary, though, and Peak Health says they are working with Bright Health now to figure out why the rate increase is so high. Magic mushrooms are going on the November ballot. This from the Colorado Sun, a petition to decriminalize psychedelic mushrooms recently earned enough signatures for a statewide vote. If approved, it creates healing centers, like dispensaries for mushrooms. It also allows for private grows. Shrooms are currently decriminalized in Denver city limits. The tubing season is finished on the Yomper River through Steamboat Springs, and tubing outfitters are frustrated. The Steamboat Pilot reports the Yampa River Management Plan closes the river if water temp goes above 75 degrees for two days in a row. That happened on Monday and odds are good it will stay closed, even if the river cools off. Says one outfitter, it's grim. Happening all this weekend at Bluebird Market in Silverthorne is a grand opening bash, and you're going to get all of this. We've got giant yard games, arts and crafts. We have face painting, caricature drawings, a skee-ball tournament. And then Saturday afternoon, progressing into the evening, we have six full hours of music. That was Tim Fredrigal with developer Millinder White. The food court's filling out now, and temporary retail is starting to open. But what's the deal with Old Dillon Inn? Coming soon, over the course of the next year, is the Old Dillon Inn. We'll be having more information for you there at the grand opening of what that concept will be. The grand opening gets started today at 4 o'clock with a ribbon cutting, art dedication, and live music. Local fire danger remains moderate today, with no fire restrictions here in Summit County. In sports, the Rockies are back from the All-Star break today, playing the Brewers at 610. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Local mountain bikers are on the trail now for opening day of Mountain Bike Nationals out at Winter Park. Local rider Nico Konechny is a big threat. He's ranked third in the nation for cross country. Happening on Lake Dillon tomorrow is the return of the Timberline Cruiser Regatta out at Frisco Bay. Cost is $45 per sailboat, and costumes are highly encouraged. It might even make for a good spectator sport, even if you're not on a boat. Sign up at friscomarina.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.